Right now, though, we turn to a twist in the Carly Russell case. She's the Alabama woman who claimed she was kidnapped after seeing a toddler wandering on the side of the highway. Well, a confession and apology on her behalf tonight. NBC's Zam Sam Brock has the details. A stunning public confession in the mysterious disappearance of Carly Russell. There was no kidnapping. Hoover's police chief reading a statement on Monday provided by Russell's attorney on behalf of the 25-year-old nursing student. My client did not see a baby on the side of the road. My client did not leave the Hoover area, but this was a single act done by herself. For days, the investigation captured national attention but skepticism quickly grew when police were unable to verify her story. Where do you think she went and how would you characterize what happened here? That's the $100 question. Earlier this month, Russell went missing for just over 48 hours after calling 911 to report a toddler walking alone on the interstate. Hi, I am on Interstate 459 and there is a kid just walking by their cell. In her initial statement to police, Russell claimed that she was abducted by a man with orange hair and a woman who brought her to a home, forced her to undress, and took nude photos of her. Throughout the investigation, police say they found no evidence of an abandoned toddler, also detailing internet searches made by Russell shortly before the incident, including what's the cost of an Amber Alert, a one-way bus ticket from Birmingham to Nashville, and the 2008 film about an abduction taken. My client apologizes for her actions to this community. We ask for your prayers for Carly as she addresses her issues and attempts to move forward, understanding that she made a mistake in this matter 